Okay. So Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. And uh, this is an addendum to the great driver tip video, which is already a couple of years old. My hi, uh, Tom flies. So the original video was to have the, um, the older drivers in mind. So you notice how the older drivers had much deeper faces. This is a Cobra driver from a couple of years ago. And um, because of the deep face and the high face, we had to tee the ball very high. So we went to the store and bought those super long tees. And then we were told that we want to hit the ball very high in the face by all the manufacturers to get the maximum trampoline effect. So already this required a tremendous amount of precision from an already uh, difficult club to swing with. So now that the manufacturers have come out with uh, the new, the latest drivers, this is a Titleist D2 driver. Uh, it's already a couple of years old, but they, they've maintained the same, uh, the same design in the last couple of years, and only recently they've come out with a new design. And the later, the, the later designs have a club face that goes, a club head, pardon me, that goes much further back, much uh, wider in the head, and shallower in the face. So what this does, it takes a center of gravity and brings it back and lower into the club head. So you get the high launch, but you don't get the high spin, which is ideal for long rolling, you know, long carry and, and far rolling drives. So I'm going to demonstrate, you know, with the, the older technology, and uh, for all you tradi traditionalists out there and good players, I would recommend you keep one of these on hand at all times. It's a lot of fun to hit, and it's great for a backup driver. And then you'll see the difference. Notice how high I tee up this ball. So you, all, you, you basically only want the, the, uh, the equator of the golf ball, center of the golf ball, slightly above the equator of the club face, okay? So that's how you want to tee it up. And you could easily tee it up that low. The trend on tour you will see is a much lower teed golf ball and uh, even Woody Austin just tees it right off the deck, okay? So because these drivers are much, much easier to hit the ball off the ground. And that, that is basically like a 15 cl 15th club in the bag when it comes to hitting the ball off the fairway. So without further ado, let's, look, uh, let's go for the demo. So as a quick review, right, and just to explain my focus, when I've got a ball teed up this high. Um, what you would like to do is have a few tees up on deck if you hit off natural grass, you know, tee them nice and high and practice just clipping the top of the tee. So if I take this ball off the tee and I'm taking practice swings, so you remember we play the ball forward in the stance, right off the big toe, play the club in the center of the stance, center ourselves with the club so that the club goes up, comes back down and from there catches the the ball on the upswing, okay? So I get the high launch and the low spin. If I sit down on the golf ball, then I got low launch with high spin. The ball will just balloon up and, and roll nowhere. It just lands and you'll actually see on a soft fairway, it'll have backspin on it. So I want very little spin and very high launch. This is how we would go about doing that with an older deep face driver, okay? So I'll take my practice swing and I want to feel like I'm going to catch that ball on the upswing, which is exactly what that felt like. I got my target out there. All right. So I want to feel a nice whip catching the top of the tee on my way to my target out there. So here we go. Nice high launch right down the middle of the fairway still in the air, just landing right now. Very happy with that drive. And all that happened there is I just caught the tee. All right, so the tee is still intact. If you're breaking your tees, you know you're hitting down on it. If you're catching it on the upswing, and the tee, if the tee is into the ground, it won't move. It'll move just slightly forward maybe, but you shouldn't break the tee, okay? So now let's look at the other options that the latest drivers are opening up for us, which are a lot of fun, okay? Because you can hit it off the deck. Okay, so if you notice the tees, how I, I have them up, 
I've got one ball off the fairway, one ball on a short tee for when I got the wind in the face and I want to keep the ball low or if I got you know, running fairways that I want to take advantage of. Uh, and then I've got my, my higher teed ball, which is basically half the ball on top of the, of the top of the club head. So I'll catch it slightly on the upswing to get that maximum carry, but without ballooning it, okay? So these are the three options that you'll have with the modern driver. So let's have a look at those. And let's look at how we would focus through these shots, okay? So when the ball's off the deck, what I'm looking for is a nice whipping skip. When you look at the Fairway Woods video, right, you'll see I'm, I'm looking at the sole of the club, or if you go to the clay pigeon shooting video, the sole of the club deflecting across the ground. Hear that nice sound? So I felt that nice deflection across the ground. Center the club in the center of my stance, the ball forward of that. And all I want is to whip and skip towards that nice target I got out there, which is in the distance is a beautiful hydro pole. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Whip and skip to the hydro pole. Bingo. Right down the middle of the fairway. So this is perfect if you have a uh, long par four into the wind or a nice par five into the wind, you wanna get there in two, no trouble in front of the green, you can roll it up there. That's a lot of fun. Number two, low drive to the center of the fairway. Same exact focus. Now the, the ball will hit a little higher on the club face, get a little bit more of that spring-like effect off the club face, and we're gonna get a little higher launch, but again, nice control, nice penetrating trajectory. So again, center of the club in the center of my stance. Looking for that whipping skip toward that hydro pole. Here we go. Beauty. So a little higher ball flight, a little more carry right there down the right center of the fairway. You notice I didn't catch the tee. I caught the ball just slightly on the upswing. And now if we go to the third ball, notice how half the ball is on top of the club head. Now I'm going to play that ball right opposite my left instep and catch the ball ever so slightly on the upswing. And here, instead of a firm skip with the turf or the ground turf, I'm looking for a graze of the grass. So I'm going to graze the grass. Hear that sound? A nice graze across the grass out to the middle of the fairway. Here we go. So the feel the focus of the feel is grazing across toward those hydro poles. Not bad. Left center of the fairway. So those are the three kinds of solutions that you have with your driver. All right. So if you have any questions, let me know.